Hello, friends, and welcome. It is writing time. It is writing time. It is writing time. It is writing time. Get your writing folder. Get your writing folder. Get your writing folder. It is writing time. Let me preface by saying I am struggling with my camera angles today because I want you to see what I'm doing. But it's hard to know if you can see what I'm doing. Okay? So just bear with me. We're going to try this and see how it goes. This week we're talking about the letter G. G makes the G sound. We have our letter G story. G, G. Garden. Gate. Goat. Gas. Geese, game, guitar, gopher, we could also do groundhog, um, gorilla, glasses, grapes, glue, um, and here we have the garden gate. Through the gate and into the garden, the goat got loose. She gobbled up the garbage, then she chased the goose. Hmm, so put your thinking caps on one time. Let's think about something that starts with the letter G and see what we can do. Let's see if we can do this without interruptions. So I'm gonna need to find an empty page, um, which I think at this point, I'm just using the backs of my papers. Whoa! See what I mean? I am struggling. Because I like want you to see me writing and I just can't get the camera just right. I'm hoping you can see this. Okay, so when we start writing, we start with a capital letter. I, I spell it like I say it. I, I use the capital letter. I, and then for my righties, we use a two finger finger space. For my lefties, we use three very soft lines, like L-I-K-E. I like you, you like me, we like each other. Can you even see this? L-I-K-E. It's hard because I can't see, so I don't know if you can see. Why is this such a struggle today? Can you see that? It's like... This is upside down. Okay, we're gonna try this, see how it goes, okay? I like two finger finger space, or for my lefties, gosh. Sorry guys. Three small lines. I like the, I think I know what I'm gonna say. Okay, T-H-E, sorry. The dog goes woof. The cat goes meow. The bird goes tweet, tweet, tweet. Okay, now we do a two fingers finger space or three small lines. And I'm gonna write about gift. G. I. F. T. Period. Period. At the end of my sentence, I sounded out my words. I wrote down all the sounds that I heard. And then I ended with a period. Now, friends, we have been, like I mentioned, we are halfway through kindergarten. So we have been in school for quite some time, in person, online, however we've been doing it, we've been doing it. So it is time, my loves, it is time to start writing that second sentence. <clears throat> I know, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it, but we can do this. We got this, and 
like we've been practicing the same sentence frame, I like the, I see the, I see a, you know, we are gonna do the same thing with our second sentence. We're gonna use the same sentence frame every single time until we get better enough, you know, to start doing more. But um, normally if we were in person, we would have been writing two sentences by now, so it's time to attempt this. I like the gift. My next sentence frame is going to always be, it is. So now we're describing the gift, okay? And we can describe it however we want. It is big, it is small, it is green, it is blue, it is fast, it is slow. How do I want to describe um, what I'm writing about? So for this particular sentence, I'm gonna have, I like the gift. A gift is another word for present, right? And then I'm gonna say it. So we start at the beginning of the next line using a capital letter, I, t, two finger finger space or three small lines, is, I, s, Two finger finger space or three small lines. Oops. Big. B. E. G. Period. So I have two sentences, and how do I know that? That's because I have two periods. A period is at the end of our sentence, not wherever I want, always at the end. All right, so now I'm going to draw my picture or try to um, I'm gonna draw myself probably inside you know what I'm gonna be fancy I'm gonna draw the fireplace you know um, and I'm gonna draw because it's you know the holidays There's the tree. And then I'm gonna draw gifts under the tree. Right? This is, now I'm just getting fancy with details. It's like, you know, gift wrap. polka dot gift wrap supposed to be at least you know maybe I'll do a giant gift right here all right and then I cannot forget myself Oops, I don't like those. Don't like those shoes. Okay. my very happy face because I'm like, yay, I love gifts. What else do I want to add? Maybe up here I'll add some Christmas lights. I mean, holiday lights. Sorry, guys. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to color, start coloring it in to add some detail. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean for that to turn out crooked, but 
you know, happy mistakes, happy accidents. In the words of the great and late Bob Ross. Happy trees, happy trees. like we talked about David's drawings, how he colored in all those details, you know. Well, in the first picture, all his friends did, I should say. Now, what color are, like, holiday lights? There's usually, like, an orange. There's a blue. There's a red. That's not the red that I want. There's a green. What else? Sometimes yellow. Yeah. shape, I think, so we know what they are. Yeah, I kind of made a big commitment when I decided to do those because it was going to take me a long time. Just try my best, folks. Here goes nothing. Just working my hardest, trying my best. It's a great day to work hard. Do your best, never give up. Okay. What I got for that, guys. Remember, I'm not an artist. I just play one on YouTube. I like looked over, I was like, I hope it's still recording, and then it almost fell right over. <gasps> See, it's like too much movement. It's like, don't like that. Just look like brick, you know? You know? Because if we were in the classroom, I would totally have like a fake fire going. 
just really sets the tone, you know? Let's see, how am I gonna... Where's my fake fire? Sets the mood. Like that wintertime feels. Be careful with the black. Because as we see, it's getting a little messy. It's because my black is broken. I'm going to color the ground gray. Who doesn't like gray flooring? You know, for that modern feel. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? What else? There's the sweater I'm wearing today. I do have a little vest on, but you know, I just don't want to ruin a good thing. Here are my jeans. Oh, my shoes look great today. I should have outlined those first. Mistakes were made. Here's my hair. Whoa, the hand got a little carried away. Oh, I didn't even decorate my tree. Are my gifts yet? What am I thinking? What a big gift. I wonder what it could be being this tall. Besides a big credit card bill, you know what I'm saying? A gift this big is going to cost you. Oh, this gift unintentionally looks like IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> okay this was going to be a gift but now I think it's just like the base of my tree you know should have drawn a tree skirt but whatevs supposed to be a gift, um, but it looks like a dice. And I'm going to color in my background. Very lightly. I don't want anything wild and crazy, you know? don't want anything loud.
do you have to write about what I'm writing about? No, but I just thought it's the holidays. We're thinking about the holidays. Our word is the letter G. Let's write about a gift. Also, because I was like, oh, that'll be simple for me. You know, maybe I should draw. Like I want to draw stockings, but I also don't want to ruin this picture I worked so hard on. So, oh, you can't even see. There you have it. Can you see it? I don't know. We have our two sentences. Let me put this away. Here we go. Can you see that? I like the gift. It is big. And then does my picture match my words? Yep, because there's my gift and it is very big. Okay, oh, you can't even see it all. There we go, there we go. I like the gift, it is big. So I have two sentences, just like we're doing today. My picture matches my words, because here's a gift and it's very big. I have finger spaces. I have periods at the, only at the end of our sentence. I started both of my sentences with a capital letter. I sounded out my words. What else? Yeah, and I did a detailed picture. So ta-da. So my job is to write two sentences about a word that starts with the letter G. Sound out your words. I hate, no, I shouldn't say I hate, but I really strongly dislike when I see your work spelt completely correct because that tells me that a grown-up did it for you and your job is to sound it out because when you get to first grade or when we come back in person, I'm not going to spell things for you. So if your grown-ups are spelling for you right now, they're just going to make it harder when you come back to school because you're going to get very frustrated when I don't sound things out for, or don't spell things. We sound them out. So please, please, please sound out your words. Write down the sounds that you hear. Grown-ups, you can help them break down the sounds, but they have to write the letters. They are not spelling things 100% correct. It's just not developmentally where we are at right now. Okay? So don't forget to work hard. Don't give up. Do your best. Do your own work. Make a choices. And I will see you later. Bye.